I just want to preface this video with this. We're already done. It looks amazing. It's right in front of me. We're going to roll the intro and then get into the entire video. Just note that it progressively gets more efficient. My application process does. Pro gets progressively more efficient as the video goes on. Just wanted to make a note of that for you. This glove like almost doesn't fit. Roll the intro. What's up my friends? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening, good whatever. Today, we've got something good. we got something good going on. I've got an interesting little modification, which I need to gather the utilities that I need, the tools that I need, materials that I need. If I look on here, I'll show you once we get back because trust me, this is a modification that you are wanna gonna buy for your car because it is very inexpensive for what it is. And I'm gonna be honest, it is a game changer. It seriously changes the look of the car. It's like whitening your teeth, you know what I mean? I got, I will show you the package it came in. Little package, yes. But we do need to get, and I'll show you right here, required for installation acetone or brake cleaner. I have neither, which means we're off to somewhere to get that. Okay, okay, a few a few things have changed. A few things have changed, let's get in focus there. One, I have a hat on, as you can see. Two, I got the brake cleaner and I didn't show you all. Three, we're gonna unveil this delicious modification that is going to change this car like no other. It, it's not that drastic, like the car is still, it's still gonna look like this car. It's not like I'm wrapping it or anything but it has something to do with color and adhesive and adhesion and cleaning surfaces and prepping and whatnot. And I'm gonna grab a table to show you this, exactly what it is. Before I do that, if you are not new to, new to this channel, no, if you are new to this channel, if you are new to this channel, this is a red rectangular subscribe button down below that you're gonna wanna tap. You're gonna wanna move your cursor down there or this way, just whatever, and click it and then hit the bell next to it because it's gonna notify you when we get these lovely, I don't know what that's doing back there. This car didn't die. We get these lovely modifications and do them to this car. I'm just bringing you along the journey, but it's not just this car. That's my car, that's the car that I am technically case studying, but I'm probably not getting rid of it anytime soon, even though it is for sale. If you're interested, and there's a video back there, go watch that to stay on track. I. I'm Matt Wade, this is Supercars of Philadelphia. I'm in New Jersey right now, but I am in Philly all the time, and I'm all over the place. We're not just Philadelphia, we're everywhere. Anywhere we can find cars, supercars, or performance cars, anything like that. If that tickles your fancy, hit the subscribe button. I'm done. As you can see, my high budget table right here. We're gonna pull these out. Pia! Tire stickers, that's right. And trust me, before you click off this video and think, wait, what, just tire stickers? What are you talking about, dude? That doesn't matter. It actually does. It actually does. Is there anything else in here? No? These guys are awesome. I wanna thank Keith for working with me on this and figuring out exactly what I want for the car. We have Michelin, so it only makes sense to run the Michelin stickers. And we're just gonna get these lined up. We're gonna do some prep work. I'm gonna run you through everything. I guess we should pull this out first. So you have your two gloves. You have your actual sheet that explains what to do. To break it all down for you, you have application instructions, cleaning and stuff like that. Cleaning, we do not recommend the use of tire shine products. You should not be tire shining the tire stickers. We're gonna put them up there because we respect them. My tires don't necessarily need tire shine to begin with, but we're gonna clean that full surface regardless. Removal, you can remove these if need be, even though they are permanent. Raised rubber lettering, and this is rubber lettering, they're not just stickers, even though they're called tire stickers. I mean, th it's just a cool name, it's a catchy name. When you're gonna install these, I'm gonna run you through it, and I'm gonna give you my review and explanation and everything, and just my two cents to dig into this. Minimum environmental temperature, 65 degrees. It is well above that, my friends. Your boy is soaking out here. Gently clean the back of the decals with acetone. We're gonna substitute acetone for brake cleaner, because this says acetone or brake cleaner. You can use either or. Moderately apply flex cement adhesive. That's this or this one of them. That's that, I think. That's the cleaner. Use nozzle tip to spread adhesive. And you're gonna use the nozzle tip on there to basically paint on the back. 
and then you use your fingertips to apply them for pressure from the center of each letter shape. That's good. That makes me feel real good because now I get to postpone washing my car and I have justification to do so. Thank you, tire stickers. We're going to get everything set up and we're going to do this. I've got the pleasure of being accompanied by some clean cloth rags right here. We're going to pull all of these materials out. These are the stickers, as you can see. We've got quite a few of them. The fronts are a little bit smaller. The rears are a little bit larger. Next, the flex cement. Flex cement, get it? Flex cement adhesive. This is uh, a licensed and branded tire stickers stuff, which I believe, I don't, don't quote me on this. I believe, I guess if you need more, you could probably get this individually, or if you just hit them up and email them. But here's the flex cement. And here is the lovely Rubber Bright, uh, which I'm assuming show quality finish. This is the stuff you put on afterwards or in the future. Not intended for tire prep before tire stickers installation. Very, very serious thing. Do not, do not in put this on beforehand. Just a forewarning. As you can see, they come with these laminate backings. We're gonna keep that on. That's how we apply the adhesive and then place them to keep them lined up all nice and beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Of course. For prepping, what I plan on doing is just getting some of this brake cleaner, not spraying it on the wheel or the rim because you don't wanna spray that towards the car, but spraying it on the cloth and then just lightly applying it onto this, just to get this as clean as I possibly can. Just so that adhesive sticks as best as it can. Because if not, then that would suck. One more thing I am gonna do, this isn't something that you necessarily have to, but I'm just gonna chop these knobbies off. We're, we're gonna do that on all four wheels. We've got a fashion statement gloves on here. Gonna wear these out tonight. Maybe I shouldn't wear them out, look like a killer. Duh, we are going to apply this now. The cement. Test drip, just to see how this comes out. I'm curious. You might not be able to see it, but you can see I'm pushing it out right there. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Got that on, put our cap back on. Oh, and I think my plan was to get this lined up. Nice, we got exactly where we want it. I think we did a good job, my friends. We shall see. So the flex cement is only getting like a base skeletal structure so they stick in about 10 minutes like it says on that thing. We're gonna peel these back. I don't even know if you can see me, but we're gonna peel these back and then we will get the edges. Rinse, wash, repeat, whatever on all four sides. So I'm gonna do the next tire. When you're doing this, you realistically just need to essentially draw on that shape. Just press the applicator tip right on the letter and just write H, C, I, M, you know what I mean. I mean, they're backwards, but you get the deal. That's, that's the best way to do it. My second try was a lot better than the first and the first wasn't terrible. We're gonna peel this back. These have been on for about 10 minutes. See how this goes. That is literally exactly how I wanted it to come out. Now we just have to do the E-L-E-N and then we're gonna do it on the bottom side. But first I'm, I'm doing the top side on the car and then I'm gonna back it up. That way they're upright for me. It's just easier for me that way. I think that just it being upright is a lot more comfortable for me than just doing it down there and not having any space. Plus like if I drop it, the floor is lava. You, you know, you know, you know, either you do or you don't, but you should know. Sit rep. These are looking sweet. The last four letters are drying. I will say, since the rear, I, I, I think I should have gotten these maybe in smaller, like just the same size as that. A little bit smaller of a letter. It's okay though. They look fine just like that. Now, once you're over here, much more impressed with how I did it this way. It came off Almost perfect. Here we go, we're gonna rip these off. Well, not rip, don't rip, be gentle. I use gentle in the description multiple times for many reasons. Not that it's like 
cheap or fragile? Well, I, I guess these are fragile. You just don't want to mess anything up. They're delicate. Once they're on the tire, they're good to go. But right now, they're delicate. We're peeling this back. And I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, I got so much better at this as I progressed. This is perfect. We can peel this back. It says to let them on for about 10 minutes each, but I mean, I'm sure I'm, I'm in the realm of 15 to 20. And these edges are gonna catch, don't worry. There is a, an adhesive or a, a vinyl, not wow, I can't talk, a laminate over these as like a protectant coat or layer just in the time being while you're putting these on. You can see, that's why it might look a little extra glossy. But wow, that, that. Because I'm happy I got both. They're two different sizes. I'll leave them in the description below. So you know, say if you have a 987S, I'm gonna go with whatever I got with on the front. I would say you should get on the back. Let me be your guinea pig. The trick here is to get all the edges because as these cars or wheels spin, not cars, as this car's wheels spin, it's gonna create a ton of pressure against this. And once you get one lift, that's all you need for more pressure to bind up and, and pull this stuff apart. So you wanna get this as clean as possible. I'm curious what you think below in the comments. Cause I know it's, it's not the product, the product's great. It's not that the product's bad, it's uh, just a mere factor of me choosing the wrong size. Not the wrong size, but a size that's a little bit too large, slightly too large. We do have this finished, this one half of this wheel finished. It's been about an hour since I started this entire even video and keep in mind, it does take me longer to do these jobs when I'm filming and doing it because I have to stop and talk to you, which I love, but just note that. So you may get this done quicker. It's it's about exactly the level of difficulty of what I thought it would be. It's a pretty much just a meticulous process. I did change my gloves. They only come with one set of gloves, but I did change my gloves. I would uh, recommend you do the same too because it's, it's just a little dirty. This will all clean up. It's just dirty because I got it dirty because my gloves were dirty. And that's what, that's what this little extra layer of protection is here these so i would say when you install make sure you have these installed oh, did i miss this i did miss this i have one more to do now i have tried it this way as well we're gonna see how that works out i swear if this bug flies into here and in one fell swoop it's your boy matt who has become a pro at installing these that last clip i was showing you where i kind of scribbled and circularly drew the lettering on the backing with the adhesive, the flex cement, this stuff, it's not really pulling. I mean, I, I kind of have it like on perfectly just from the get go, which really gets me hyped up because I mean, those, it, it, it took me a while between prep and everything. This is kind of like a three ish hour job. It depends on how much prep you need to do with the acetone or brake cleaner, really getting all of the oils off of this. But I'm impressed. I'm impressed with how this looks. If you guys want these, there may or may not be some type of coupon code down in the bottom. Go to tirestickers.com and get them. They probably have a sale anyway, but if we do have a coupon code down below in the description, use it. It's probably something witty and charismatic like Supercars of Philadelphia. Trust me, I'm gonna hook you up. If I can get you a discount, we'll get you hooked up with a little discount. And here we are, complete. I think it looks, wow, wow, wow. On camera, it looks even better. I was gonna say, I think it looks good. It looks a lot better than it did when it just had one of them on the top, like on one side. But now that they're on both sides, I think it looks fantastic. Even with the larger lettering, maybe I spoke too soon about the larger lettering. I definitely think that fits this car. I don't know, that seems more like, like truck lettering to be in a sense, but hey, it's what I asked for, it's what I got, and I couldn't, I couldn't be more grateful. Wow. Let me just move this out of the way. On the instructions, it does say in the event that, well, <laughs> in the event that it ever does peel or anything like that, you just repeat steps three and four. I mean, I know it's gonna get dirty, but I think yellow, since it's a color and not just straight white, it's gonna get less dirty than the white will. And that's a plus for me, I like that, I like that a lot. As you can see, if we get the transfer film, not transfer film, the flex cement here, where is this? You can see I used not even half of this stuff. I'm gonna put the cap back on there just because uh, 
it works really well. Don't be afraid to use this in the instructions. They do kind of scare you a little by saying oozing or putting on too much excess flex cement will cause oozing and you to run out and not have enough. Uh, I think they're saying that so you don't splooge it on there. Definitely don't do that, but I didn't do that. And as you can see in the, in the previous clips, I changed my tactics. My strategy went from just a straight line to actually kind of doing a, a circular movement of still writing it and then pushing it out to the edges. And that seemed to do really well. I didn't even have to lift up much edges or anything. I mean, just a few. I still go over all the corners and see because you, I don't know how easy or how likely it is for this stuff to pick up and peel. You wanna let this sit for about an hour minimum before you wash or drive the car. I'm just gonna let it sit. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna let it sit. I'll come back out later tonight and wash the car or else I'm gonna come out early in the morning and wash it. I'm gonna move the car indoors. What is that? I think it looks great. Drop a comment down below what y'all think. I'm very curious. And also, if you haven't yet, give this video a like for our boys over at Tire Stickers, hooking it up with this awesome product. The fact that they even made this is amazing. That's what I mean. It's when a company, I, I, I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to just either buy, deal, or work, or just associate with companies that make awesome quality products for you because I want to recommend that stuff to you. We did the stuff with Rust-Oleum. Peel coat, nah, wasn't a huge fan of it. The Plasti Dip, whatever. I'm not crazy about Plasti Dip, but it's definitely one of the better peelable paints. I'd much rather see you powder coat something than, than use Plasti Dip. Everything else, Soul Performance products, all these guys, all this stuff, everything's just awesome. All these companies are awesome that, that have been featured on my channel and that's exactly why I only want to promote that stuff. I'm not even going to acknowledge the negative things because that's not what this is about. I just want to show you all the awesome stuff because that's what really helps us progress and move forward, right? Not worrying about the negative things, just focusing on the positive. Now the negative things, yeah, you want to avoid, but there's so far, I'll give you a, a review on this maybe in a week or in a month, whatever need be. Say if something tragic happens, I'll let you know if whatever. Honestly, this stuff is so operator error prone that it's not really the the product's fault it's more so my fault if anything does happen to it i would say uh, or if i just don't upkeep it wow Yo, that's crazy i swear to god as i'm making this video i'm, I'm not even this is just a hundred percent me being transparent with you i'm like damn this is kind of taking a while not really i was just being impatient and just i just needed to suck it up which i did but I'm like, wow, this is taking a while and I don't even know if I really like how these look. So if you're putting these on and you're applying them in person, you're like, damn, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. Just, just finish the drill, finish all of it, do the whole thing because you will totally, totally love what you see if you're anything like me. I mean, let me just move this out of the way. Dude. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving how that looks. That's, <laughs> oh my God. What? I, I, yo, seriously, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too amped up right now, maybe I'm too pumped up, I'm not sure. I should probably just end the video right here, which we will. I don't wanna carry this on too, too long. There's your tire stickers, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome quality products, all their information will be down below. Check out their website, tell them I sent you, or if there is a coupon code, like I said, just use it and get a discount or whatever. On that note, if you did not give this video a like yet, do it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe down below, red rectangular button if you stayed this far, and I will catch you later. I don't have anything else for you. No, let's roll that outro.